that life was beautiful with Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And the companions enjoyed life with Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We interact with a lot of non-Muslims. We lot of, and when we see their understanding about Islam, it just surprises us. And it's, it just increases our responsibility. And it makes us understand as to how important it is for us to introduce the beauty of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Bedouins were very rough people, remember, very harsh people. They could, they could easily get angry. He, he needed to urinate. He just got up in the corner of the masjid. He stood up and he, he urinated. The Sahaba alayhi muridhuan, they pulled out their swords. We will kill him. He disrespected Masjid al Sharif. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, La, wait, wait, let him finish. This is the character of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. But once he finished urinating, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told the companions, go and wash this place. Get some water and wash the place. And then the Prophet ﷺ went to him. And these are the beautiful words of Rasulullah ﷺ. The Prophet ﷺ approached him. And Rasulullah ﷺ said to him. And the approach of Rasulullah ﷺ, the language of Rasulullah ﷺ was so beautiful that this Bedouin, even his parents, never approached him with such sweet words. What did the Prophet ﷺ say to him? Every human needs to urinate. To be in that state when you need to urinate, that's a need of every human. This is the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Imagine this. A Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam talking to a Bedouin. And Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, The need of urinating, this is the need of every human. I can't say it. I, how can we say it how the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said this? But these are the words that transformed his life. So Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Wanting to urinate is a need of every human. But this place is not for that. This place is not made for that. This place is made to worship Allah Jalla wa'ala. Just these words uttered by Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa transformed his life. And because Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa said this with so much love and so much muhabba, he ended up saying, Bi abi anta wa ummi ya Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa May my mother and father be sacrificed on your name, O beloved of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa